Hello again, everybody. My name is Daniel Troutman with Smashcake.com, your online resource for all things Smash Cake. Whether you need free photography, business training, or you need actual photography training, we've got all of that over there on the Smashcake.com, and it is by Smash Cake photographers, specifically for Smash Cake photographers. And the best part, well, of course, is that it's free. Now, today we're going to go ahead and take a behind the scenes look at a smash and splash session that we do at our studio. And for those of you who don't know what a smash and splash session is, well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It is a smash cake session followed by a bathtub splash session, and that helps clean up the child and it also makes for some really adorable pictures. Now, before we get into all of that, I need to ask you guys a question, and I have been considering a live stream here on our channel, and if that is something you guys would be interested in, I would definitely be interested in helping you guys out on your Smash Cake photography journey and, you know, answering some of your questions. So if you are interested in us doing a live stream, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Go ahead and comment yes. And more importantly, tell me what time zone you're in and what time would be most convenient for you to watch that live stream. Now, instead of boring you guys to death with the yakety schmackety, let's just go ahead and dive into how we built today's Smash and Splash set. Now, if you have been a subscriber to my channel or you have seen one of my behind the scenes videos before, you guys know that I always start with the backdrop because, well, that's really 50% of your set right there. And today's backdrop is from Design Revolution. Now, if you've never heard of Design Revolution, it is a site that was started by a photographer, a very good photographer who has a very bohemian sense of style, and her name was Julie Klassmeyer. I've had a chance to meet her, and I absolutely love her to death because she's just a very vibrant, eccentric person, and she is an artist through and through. Now, full disclosure, Design Revolution has been sold to another photographer. Julie uh, is no longer running it, but they held on to her bohemian sense of style and they offer some really cute backdrops like the one that we're going to be using today. Today's backdrop is called Bubblegum Backdrop from Design Revolution, and it is, well, what it sounds like. It is a polka dotted, vintage -y kind of backdrop with kind of a, a textured overlay on it, and it just looks fantastic. It has that bohemian, shabby chic kind of vibe. Today's flooring is white seamless paper, and white seamless is amazing, and you can't go wrong for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's easy cleanup. I mean, we all know that. You cut it loose from the roll, you wad the paper up with the cake and everything, and you just throw it all in the trash. Bob's your uncle, the set is clean. But number two, I love it because it helps me control my shadows. You see, when you use white seamless on the floor, no matter what light is bouncing around the room, whether it be from a window light or a flash that you're using, that light is going to come in, skip off that paper, and bounce up under the chin of your subject. So if you're a Smash Cake photographer that does not like a whole lot of shadows in your Smash Cake sets, well guess what? Your white seamless paper is the go-to answer. Now on today's set, we used a whole I don't know, litany of props. We're gonna go with the word litany. We used a lot of different props. And as always, I like to start each uh, set with a custom made banner for my clients whenever I can. And the reason I do that is because it elevates my client's experience. They know that I have custom designed the banner and all of the details of the entire set for their child and it elevates their experience. And whenever you can elevate their experience, I'm telling you, it will pay off later in the sales room. Now, for those of you interested in how I made this banner, you can pretty much take a look at the darn thing. I took a bunch of fabric, I ripped it into shreds, and I tied it to a ribbon. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want more ideas like this, definitely check out thesmashcake.com. Now, the other prop that I want to draw your attention to is the IKEA stool that is silently sitting in the background, elevating my gift bags off the floor and creating more visual interest. Now, the reason I love these is they are, well, they're IKEA. They are super, super cheap. And because they're IKEA, they are of a minimalist design, which means they're not garish and they are not going to draw the eye. They are simply going to do their job and they're going to do it without draining your pocketbook. So, if you don't mind spending 20-30 minutes twisting a stupid little Allen wrench, I highly recommend the IKEA stool to add height, dimension, and visual interest to your Smash Cake photography sets. Some of the other props that we used on today's Smash Cake sets are the tissue paper gift bag combo that we just mentioned, a hat box or two, a pink fuzzy rug, some balloons, some tissue paper pom-poms, and some fake flowers. 
Now, most of those props we pick up at the local Dollar Tree. And if you're interested in finding out what else we buy when we go to the dollar store, well, go ahead and check out that video right there. That is a video that we took at our local dollar store, running down all of the items we pick up every time we go there. Now, because today's session is a smash and splash session, we're obviously going to need a bathtub and we're gonna need a couple of other items. We're gonna need some fruit to float on top of the water because that just adds a pop of color to the water and makes your images a little more vibrant. And pro tip, whenever you do one of these sessions, always add some powdered milk to the water because it does two things. Number one, it makes the color of the fruit you're floating pop. And more importantly, if the child isn't wearing a swim diaper, then that opaque water will kind of hide the parts and pieces that you don't necessarily want to have show up on film or digital. <laughs> now, the number one question I get when it comes to a bathtub is what size bathtub do I need? And really, I wish that I had an exact number for you, but here's how I decide. I go to the store and I find something that looks watertight and looks like it would completely work as the bathtub or it fits my set. And then I take my I take my arm. I take I take my arm from the elbow to the tip of my extended fingers and I jam that sucker in the vessel I'm considering and if it fits, if there's room for this big guy, then I know there's going to be room for a 1-year-old. And that's how I decide. Now, I'm guessing I don't know, I'm gonna say 20 to 22 inches. I've never actually measured my arm, but 20 to 22 inches sounds about right. And if that's, uh, you know, if you've got a vessel that's of that size or you can jam your whole forearm in it, then you know you're gonna be just fine on the day of your shoot. If any of you out there actually wanna buy the exact same tub that we used for this shoot, well, here it is. And as you can tell, it was a drink bucket for barbecues and we repurposed it for a smash cake bathtub. And you can find it over on walmart.com. Now, right now, Walmart is blowing these things out for $8.98, and I can tell you, when I bought mine, it was 25 bucks, so that is a crazy good price, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description section. It's not an affiliate link, it's just a link to a crazy good price so that you guys can take advantage of that if you wanna buy a tub like this. Now, speaking of numbers, check this out, super excited. The magic forearm method of measurement actually works because this oval tub measures 20 inches and change. So take that, all of you forearm measurement hater people, because it actually works. Well, all right, my little geekosauruses, now is the time where we get to geek out on lighting. And today we are using three Godox 8600s. Now I'm placing two of those bad boys in either back corner of my set in five foot modifiers. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna send a wall of beautiful squishy light from the back of the set and it's gonna hit the back of my child and that's gonna separate the child from the background. Now for the main light, I've got a seven foot modifier and a, another Godox 8600. And what that's gonna do is send a wall of squishy, beautiful light forward onto the face of the child. And because that modifier is so large, it's going to wrap that light around the child, killing all of our shadows. Now, if there are any shadows remaining, remember when I told you earlier in the video, we talked about white seamless? Well, that white seamless is gonna take all of that light that's bouncing around our set, it's gonna skip it off the floor and put it under the chin of our child and really, really provide us with shadowless, beautiful light. Now, continuing to ride the geek train, let's go ahead and geek out on some lenses. And today we're using the Sigma Art 50 millimeter 1.4 the Tamron 28 to 75 2.8, as well as the Sony G Master 70 to 200 2.8. Well, okay, that's pretty much all of the technical aspects of how we built the set today. And now there's nothing left to do, but go ahead and look at some of the images that we made today on our Smash and Splash Cake Smash photo session.
as you can tell, we had a blast making that set and we had even more fun taking those images. And I would absolutely have a great time doing a live session with you guys. So if you want that live stream, don't forget to hit me up with a yes or no in the comments section regarding that. Now, if live streams aren't your thing and you wanna keep binge watching, obviously we've got more content right over there. All you gotta do to keep the party rolling is just click one of those thumbnails. Now, until next time, guys, I'm Daniel Troutman with TheSmashCake.com. I want to wish you guys a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.